the question is about uh, the doctor mentioning that we have to evolve in our, in our understanding of human rights. So, 50 years ago, homosexuality was not acceptable in accordance to human rights. Now, today, we do accept homosexuality in a Western liberal society. But some people are now arguing also that we should accept incest between brothers and sisters who willingly participate in that kind of relationship if there are prevention, etc. And some people are also arguing that we should accept uh, or make it illegal to have sexual intercourse with the animals, as actually has been practiced in Denmark for years. Uh, that it was, uh, it was actually in the news as well that people from Norway, they take sexual vacations to Denmark to have sexual intercourse with animals. So people today are arguing something and in the future they might argue different things. So how do we reconcile that, or should we just go along with whatever we now feel is morally correct? How do we define these boundaries? Where are the boundaries of moral, morally correct? Why is it, for example, not okay to have, uh, to have, uh, what, what is this called? Yes, for example, mild uh, pedophilia, that you, for example, a man masturbates to a baby, a baby wouldn't take any harm of that from your values. What you should not do, and which is unacceptable, is that which harms someone else. Incest <clears throat> is usually understand, understood as the, a sex, sexual violation of the rights of a child. If you're talking about grown-ups, who cares? I don't. This is really a minority question. Uh, and as a matter of fact, there are instances of uh, sexual intercourse between consenting adults resulting in children. And the biological argument that this is harmful to the baby has a very weak foundation. Actually, it's more of a problem that cousins marry again and again and again. Because that limits the genetic pool that a brother and sister on one occasion marries and have a child. It's not a big genetic problem. Do I like it? Would I say, hooray, this is great? No. Why not? Have to. Why not? Why should I? I mean, I, wouldn't I, you do the same for the, the homosexuals? The, the, I, the right I'm to not, practice? I, I am not gay, and uh, why, why should I? Why should I say? Because I accept the right of gays to be gay, and practice their, with consult, consenting adults, their sexual proclivities. It does. It doesn't mean that I have given an invitation. I mean, uh, the, the, why, why should why should you think so? I am saying that I have my preferences. Maybe I like blondes. Maybe I like colored women. That's a preference. It doesn't mean that I have to say that, oh, it's not all right to do it otherwise. I mean, you have to think through. And your initial reaction that I don't like this, this is disgusting. Uh, well, it's disgusting with amputation, and that's actually a more serious case than having sex voluntarily with another person of the same gender, actually. So here we have cultural ideas, and that is the important point. How do these things change? They change because we recognize greater and greater freedom for the individual as long as the activities of the individual does not harm physically or psychologically other people. You say the same about animals? Was that uh, was that the same answer for two well, people? Well, <laughs> I mean, as long as you're not hurting the animal. I'm also in favor of animal rights. <clears throat> and again, I mean, uh, uh, excuse me for going over time, but since you are adding to the question here, the, 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 the question here <clears throat> has, to, it, I mean, you can argue based on principle, but you can also argue, as Mr. Hijab has done, based on empirical realities. And then the question becomes, how 
how many people does this involve? What is the problem here? How large is the problem? Why should we have laws against something that, I mean, a very small minority, and I would like to see the statistics on how many Norwegians are traveling to Denmark to have sex with animals. And what animals, by the way? I mean, this becomes sort of absurd discussion. Thank you.